Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. I am jumping in to talk about some Traveler's Notebooks for the month of May. I kind of went away with it, I think with the challenge that I have placed for the, um, what do you call it? Oh, the tea and prop challenge. And um, I did a ton of uh, layouts and stuff with prompt base and I had so much fun creating them, but I kind of took a break after that. So now I'm gonna see maybe if I wanna go like with a little kit. I don't really buy like a ton of the kits, just like printables and stuff, but I did buy a sale a while back from Studio Calico. They had the buy one, get one um, free. So I bought February's and I got January's free. So this one is February's I think, since the whole love scheme and the cactus, which totally throw me off. but. I love the Traveler's Notebooks, but I don't want to pay the price of like how much they are, especially if you don't have a subscription. So, oh, I love this stamp set. I've always loved um, In a Creative Bubble, the um, creator. Uh, she has also has her own site, but I just love her signature style. So I'm going to go through these and I'm going to pick the Traveler's Notebook that I'm going to use for the month of May. I'm already liking Oh, when they do rainbow like this, guys. Oh. Mm hmm. All right. So, which one should we go through first? Oh, I love this one. But I do like the skinny version. Mm -mm. All right. Let's do this one first since it's February. All right. Let's see if we can, we can see May in this. At first, I thought I would keep it like for the next year. You know what I mean? Or I can break them down and use them throughout the month. How would I use this cactus, guys? Am I the only one that has problems using the trend that comes in, that comes out, like the flamingos and like all about pineapples and you know, just weird, like the giraffe and the freaking tiger? I don't know. I mean, I have boys and stuff, but I don't know. How can I use this? I, I don't know. We're gonna figure that crap out, right? <laughs> Probably just me. Oh, I like this. Jot it down. I kind of like more of a blank slate on all of mine. But I bought this again for the sale so that way I can see if I do like their products enough to do uh, a subscription maybe, you know, further down the line, maybe even next year. So um, that's why when it was, oh, I love this page. I have seen so many of the uh, creators, their design team members. Oh work wonders with this. I had somebody just to do like tone on tone or like a little cluster in each one. They probably did that, but I just love it. So awesome. Weekend adventures. We're going to be doing a lot of things in May because I say we can probably use this y'all. So cute. Date night. If we ever get to it. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I probably cover this page with a full photo. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I'd probably do like a collage over here. All right, all right. I'm getting a fill of this. Uh, let me know down below which Traveler's Notebook company do you use? Do you like to print them out? I know there's printable versions. Uh, do you do different ones? Do you do the Life Crafted album, like the ones with the rings? I don't know. I, I don't like having my double page spread like cut apart so far. Like if you have your, your titles like right there and then you have to cut it for the rings. I feel like it's just too distracting. But I have not tried it to give it a fair shot. So, But um, I'm just curious, you know. So I, I feel like I need to change something different so I may end up you know like I said cutting these um, apart and putting them together so that may be an idea mm -hmm. simple pleasures I love this pastel background it makes me think of a unicorn <laughs> and cotton candy do you see it uh, that's funny oh uh, my current favorite photo oh I would totally like place a photo my favorite photo for the month and like all my current leaves, um for that month, I, I can see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A black and white, go monochromatic, something being to add in your own colors. Love this, Oh, I like that. Pretty. Well, you know, it's May, you can totally do it. 
my faves right now. Hobby, food, drink, show, movie. I could do my typewriter and answer all these. Or my own handwriting if I really liked it. And then I'd probably do another, um, an outing. Yeah, I can see that for an outing. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I do like this. This is cute. Hmm. To my Valentine. Well, okay, you totally messed up at the very end here because it's obviously not going to be used for Valentine's Day. But we can just cover that up and like put date night, you know, or just a cute little photo of my boys that they were just like angelic. They're really not, but we're going to see. All right, so we saw that one. What do you guys think? What do you think I'm going to choose for May? Does that bug you guys? Like, would y'all use a product like beyond its date you know like it was originally meant for february i like this oh i like these a lot i would like to put this on a stick on a, like a collage yeah i can see that mm -hmm. here we go let's go what else do we have wow this is a weird color guys hmm um yeah it's weird I like the fact these are matte. These are not shiny since I would have trouble like stamping on them or writing. I don't like to have to worry about a slick surface. So this is awesome. I like this. Yeah. And it's a different color. So it kind of, it's a change. It's a nice change. I wish there was more chipboard in here. You know how like they have in like the documentary kit beyond just like shapes. You know, they always have those little circles, little, um, yeah, just more chipboard, but still a great. Um, I forgot. I lost my train of thought there before. <laughs> Uh, that's funny oh I love this look this is so stinking cute like yeah I can use this I don't know for what but I'm gonna use it all right and then we saw the stamp set right enjoy I love this today this cute little star I can see to of embellishments be made with this in different colors of the rainbow right now good times um, moment is wait this moment is everything one for the books and nice little triangles there we got some glitter stars kind of to come on there you go well you, you see them right okay so yeah how would you adhere these i could think of my sticker my little xyron that's probably the only way but i kind of hate that my thing misses up on me all the time i hate pulling it out i'm so lazy Oh, these are, uh, so these are alphabets. This is an entire alphabet. Oh, big title. All right. Okay, okay. Oh, we got some color theories, labels in this weird color. Not that same color, but okay. Creme Boulet. Oh, it is a pretty color. Okay. Not too bad. Um, um, kind of reminds me like, um, a little darker than the antique linen from Tim Holtz, I think. So let's see how this works within this collection. We got some Kylie in Kentucky stickers. I believe she's the designer. Okay, I like this. And believe it or not, I'm going to use the banana. I have some ideas. The yellow. Um, I have a story to share. So, okay, double-sided. I mean, not double-sided, is it? I guess just one set. Guys. Oh, okay, double set. Oh, there. Look at that. Did you see that? They are transparent stickers that is cute guys that is cute all right what else do we have we have the traveler's notebook okay okay so let's see here i love this it looks like a library card because it probably is <laughs> i love the color red okay oh uh, i would totally is it possible? Is it possible? May. I would color in the May. You know what? I wish this was the the first um, page, not this one. I wish this one was it. So that way when you first open it and I color in the May and all of them, then you would know like this is my, my May. But let's see. Oh, my Lanta. I love this. I love this. I like to stamp like little icons on here or put like little uh, embellishments all within it. Just, oh, it's a beautiful rainbow right there, guys. I don't know how I would use it. We're going to see. Oh, this green is amazing. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
But I'm, I'm telling you, I think I may want to gut these and put them together. Is that crazy? Did you do that? I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like restricting myself because it's their kits, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know if I'll use them as a kit. Uh, I, feel, I know I'm going to be adding in a ton of stuff more, you know? Uh, so, let's see. Okay, it's a lot of yellow. Oh, so this is perfect for the photo to talk about my... Um, so, I have a photo that's wants to, I want to talk about yellow is my two-year-old Henry. He um, learned how to say yellow, and it is such the cutest thing ever, the way he says it. And um, I just wanted to do like a, a little like a monochromatic layout of, you know, a bunch of yellow things. Um, and then maybe like a currently for him because his little vocabulary is so freaking adorable. And it's just iconic because, you know, this is around the time where they have a ton of milestones before they reach a certain age. And there's just so many different little ones. It's so cute. All right, we got some leaves here. I can see a picture like from outside. The boys are having fun. Oh, I love this blue. And I love the way that green pops out so, so much. Guys, can you see the love that I'm giving this one? I, I do like it a little more. I don't know what to do, guys. All right, it's all... I'm sorry, it's a long story. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I know these are the stickers that are over there, but I don't know how I would share a story on this, guys. How would you use this page? Hmm. I normally work in my toddler's notebook with like blank pages and then I pulled in like two colors, like two pages that I would want to use. So this is going to be different. I wonder if I can be... Oh, so that stamp. You see that stamp that's in there? Awesome. You can make your own background. Oh, pretty, pretty flower. All right. You can't stop awesome. Ugh, my boys would love that. But I'd probably tell them that. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I have my coffee here. Let's see. What else? Okay, a map. Let's see. Like, what, the subway train station? What would I do that for? Maybe, like, as I'm starting to try and, like, uh, go for a jog in the mornings and the evenings. I haven't done it yet just because my kids demand all my time and I just... I'm really working out, guys. Love more. Aww. That sounds so nice. I love that message. I need to tell that to my boys more because they fight a lot. Actually, they're pretty good. It's the little one, the two-year-old. He's a bully. Alright, yellow. This is some bright yellow. Which I can do that story that I was telling you about. <gasps> I don't know, guys. I don't know what it is, but I just love the palette when there's a ton of colors. Again, I can see some collaging down here. Highlights. Hmm, what will we be doing in May that I only need to do like whole location and stuff? I don't know. Pretty. The big list of resolution. All right, so what do you think I'm gonna pick for May? I don't know if I would use all these though, to be frank. Like, Again, I'm trying Studio Calico out. It was such a great sell that this is the perfect way I would want to try out a brand, you know, on a, due to a sell. So I'm going to see how I do for the month of May. Again, I'm not going to restrict myself to only using these products because I don't know if I would use these or I would ever. I don't think I've ever done like washi tape in my toddler's notebook, so I wonder how I can. I do have some stories lined up. I've mentioned it before that um, I think in like an, another my art journal, no, not my art journal, my daily journal, creative journal spread that I wanted like um, to share like my evening routine and I never did it. So I don't know if I'm going to go back into my um, previous traveler's notebook or doing one of these newer ones because I'm split. I like having a monthly traveler's notebook and sharing all the monthly stories in that month but then again I feel like I'm getting burnt out of not filling a journal up like I'm only having like about 10 maybe 15 stories a month and maybe I should just stick to one journal for a while until I fill it up I don't know how do you guys do it do you do you know chronological let's try that again chronological order there we go <laughs> do you do that in order um you know by by month 
or do you just fill up an entire traveler's notebook? I would like to know. Oh, I forgot the washi tape. So that way, I need some insight. I need to see, like, what, what should I do? Because I feel like just making a junk journal type traveler's notebook, just doing a ton of different backgrounds uh, and, like, regular printer paper, sewing that together, and then just adding in different pages. That's kind of how I get that feel. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just, I got a wild hair. Is that what you call it? Yeah, I got a wild hair. Oops, I closed it. Y'all. What are y'all doing for the month of May? What traveler's notebooks are you y'all using? Let me know in the comments down below. I know I have a ton of questions, guys. I'm just so open for May. Coming back, I hadn't been posting as much because a lot of stuff happened in May. I'm just getting a lot busier with my child, the toddler, potty training him, and then we have like a tornado, tornado warning. Dude, I feel like this is like 2020 in Texas now. That Our weather has seriously been like, here, hold my beer. That's how bad. I feel like it's just, um, it, I don't know how to, I don't know how else to say it. So I have a couple of questions. So should I choose one of these? Should I gut them and use them like a combination for the month of May? Or should I make a junk journal type style and go from there? So let me know on that. Let me know what you're using. And do you do Traveler's Notebook by month or do you do it to fill it up? And let me know how you store them too. Cause you know, it kind of feels weird. Like I like to know like, okay, I grab out this one. I see the cover. All right, this is obviously February. And it has all my February stories, guys. I just, I like that. But do I need to change? Oh, see, look, I didn't even document that one yet, but I'm, I plan on it. And I like that it stays there because it's a, it's a story in February, you know? And then I have another one here, and it's my last one this month for April that just passed. You know, that I was doing the challenges. Oh, I like that simple spread. Here we have another one, my busy little bee. He really is. I'm working out now, getting fit. This is the only time that I didn't do like a spread um, within the month, but I felt like it was okay because it was like a reflection of how it was last year around April. So this is why I felt like I was able to like trick my brain to be able to kind of document something other than things in April, if that makes any sense at all. And this was just like an overview of how 2020 was last year in April using the Tracy Ring Designs collection, Stay Home. So yeah, ton of embellishments. But, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really relaxed at a, a softer, lighter, um, easier approach for my traveler's notebooks. Um, I will let you know what I end up deciding. I may end up doing like all three. I may cut these and then start putting them together and then be like, no, nope, that wasn't the idea. And then I can always just put them back together, right? The product's bought. I need to use them somehow and I'm going to see how I find fit. I may even make that little traveler's notebook style the junk version and then go from there um i do want to go back and share a couple of stories in my traveler's notebooks because i have that a couple of stories that are not done and in my brain they need to go where they're supposed to go so i will be sharing those with you guys as long as you don't mind you know there's there's no stories there's no expiration on documenting it but um, this is just giving you an update for Traveler's Notebooks and all things. I love sharing my Traveler's Notebook spreads. They're my small stories that I like to document for the month. So I still plan on doing that with you guys. Um, I'm just getting a different feel this month. I don't know what it is. It's May, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.